As you begin your study in Bayesian statistics, you might wonder what the difference is between Bayesian statistics and whatever you've previously been taught. There are two main philosophies to statistics. They're called Bayesian and frequentist or classical statistics. There's actually a third kind of statistics called fiducial inference that's sort of in between the two, but it's not very commonly used. In both Bayesian and frequentist statistics, you assume a model for your data generating process, but then your approach to making inference about your model parameters is very different for the two different kinds of statistics. So in frequentist or classical statistics, we assume that our parameter in the model, our parameters in the model are fixed but unknown. And we consider the properties of estimators of these parameters when we take repeated independent samples from a population of interest. So we keep taking samples from our population over and over and over again, and we look at properties of our estimators in relationship to those samples. On the other hand, in Bayesian statistics, a parameter is a random variable with some sort of probability distribution. And the way that we make inference in Bayesian statistics is by conditioning on our observed or fixed sample of data. Just to highlight our, the differences in a slightly different way, frequentist statistics makes probability statements about parameters when we treat the data as random, but the parameter as being fixed. On the other hand, Bayesian statistics makes probability statements about parameters when we treat the data as being fixed and the parameter as being random. We'll see this different, the differences more clearly in the future when we talk about frequentist confidence intervals versus Bayesian credible intervals. Just so you know, both viewpoints are extremely useful and both approaches are going to make subjective choices about modeling the data. However, I will say that Bayesian statistics and Bayesian statisticians tend to be a little bit more transparent about these subjective choices that are made. Lastly, you may be wondering exactly where Bayesian statistics got its name and the primary reason that Bayesian statistics is called Bayesian statistics is because it heav heavily relies on a probability result known as Bayes' rule. Bayes' rule basically says that the if we have two random variables, x and y, then the conditional distribution of x given y can be computed as the conditional distribution of y given x times the marginal distribution of x divided by the marginal distribution of y. Sometimes this is stated in terms of probability events instead, in which case we might say that the probability of event X given event Y is the probability of event Y conditional on the event X times the probability of event X divided by the probability of Y. So those are two different approaches to understanding Bayes' rule, but both are commonly used in Bayesian statistics.